How many heavens are there? Let's study the Bible to find out. In the very first verse of the Bible, it says God created the heavens. The plural heavens implies more than one heaven. Moses tells us in Deuteronomy about a land that drinks rain from heaven. Rain comes from the atmosphere, so one of the heavens is the earth's atmosphere. Let's call this the first heaven. Isaiah talks about the stars of heaven. Those aren't in the atmosphere. Stars are above earth's atmosphere. So one of the heavens is outer space. Let's call this the second heaven. These two verses are referring to God, and they call heaven your holy dwelling place, and whose throne is in heaven. Thus one of the heavens is God's dwelling place, where his throne is. In 2 Corinthians, Paul describes how he was caught up to the third heaven, and later he says he was caught up to paradise. So Paul implies that there are three heavens, and the third heaven is paradise. We'll call this the third heaven. In Luke, Jesus on the cross says, I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise. He's talking to the thief on the cross and assures him that he will go to paradise, which is the same as the third heaven. There are other scriptures that talk about our resurrected glorified bodies. 1 Thessalonians tells us that the Lord himself will come down from heaven, the dead in Christ will rise first, and then we who are still alive will meet the Lord in the air and will be with the Lord forever. Jesus will return, dead believers will rise with resurrected bodies, and living believers will be raptured up to heaven with transformed bodies. Paul says in Philippians that our citizenship is in heaven, and the Lord Jesus Christ will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. Our resurrected bodies will be like that of Jesus Christ. Way back in Isaiah, we learn that God will create a new heavens and a new earth, and he says, I will create Jerusalem. Jerusalem already existed, so this has to be a new Jerusalem. God will create new heavens, a new earth, and a new Jerusalem. In the Hall of Faith chapter, we learn that Abraham was looking forward to the city with foundations. Abraham was looking forward to this new Jerusalem. We can read all about the new Jerusalem in Revelation 21 and 22, where John saw a vision of the new heaven, the new earth, and the holy city, the new Jerusalem. This new Jerusalem is our final dwelling place, and there we'll have our resurrected bodies. The new Jerusalem comes down from heaven, that is, the third heaven. God always fulfills his promises to his children. In summary, there are three heavens. The first heaven is the earth's atmosphere, the second heaven is outer space, and the third heaven is God's dwelling place, where his throne is. It's also called paradise, and it's where believers go when they die. The final, eternal dwelling place for believers is the new earth and the new Jerusalem. The new Jerusalem is what some people think of as heaven because there are no tears, no death, no pain, no curse. There's not even night. And Revelation describes pearly gates, a street of gold, and the tree of life. Best of all, we live with the Lord Jesus Christ forever. Want to learn more? Read your Bible. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Now that's all there is to it.